what is up guys it's so Ash. we are back again with some more mobile legends and for one i do want to apologize for the lack of videos this past week i've been streaming a lot when i say a lot over 40 hours this week already and i'm going to be making a lot more videos i just want to apologize for the lack of them recently but today i want to take a look at one of the most probably used legend that i see and that's sakura sakura i haven't bought him yet i have played him a little bit he's huge into survival physical and control and he can play support he has no magic damage whatsoever really but we're gonna buy him because i want to play with sakura now it was free for a little while but i didn't get to uh use him very much then so we're going to use him now 3v3 ai hard and we are going to choose sakura his abilities full moon slash slash your sword dealing 100 damage to surrounding enemies targets are knocked up i'm sure that skills as you level it charge forward dealing damage and stealing physical defense from all enemies in your path sharpen the blade normal attacks have a chance to deal extra damage that's a passive and cloud strife that's his ultimate hurls the target in the air and then sends them crashing down to the ground and it deals area damage so I didn't know about the area damage part of it. I knew it was, you know, it did the damage to that person. And there is his other skin. Gonna wait a little while until I buy that, but I probably still will get it pretty soon. Now I did go in with the heal perk since he does, you know, he's got a, uh, he's got a teleport already. So I'm not really gonna be worried about that. Uh, there is a full moon slash. That's what I wanna get first pretty much knocks everything up it'll hit everything that way I don't really have to worry about hitting multiple things when I start out and what I mean by that is the minions you can farm minions faster so I want to try to do damage to all of them if I can the more damage I could do to begin with the faster you can level up uh, there's no contest with AI to get the buff in the middle anyway so I'm gonna go bottom since there's two up here one solo lane, I'll be able to fa level up faster. Dash will let me move around a lot faster as well. And here we go. Now funny, it is another Sakura down here. But this dash right there, it helps out a lot. And we got an early kill, nice. All right, for the build for Sakura, we're going to go with the recommended. So we're starting out with the Phoenix Blade, which is attack and all kinds of other good stuff. And we're going to take a further look into this uh, abilities or the actual equipment in the game, builds and stuff like that. We're going to be looking at more stuff like that really soon. And let's try to get away from this guy. We don't have a teleport. I do have a heal. And we're level 3 already. Looking for buff. Yeah. Well, buff did just spawn 15 seconds ago. Let's see if it is up. It is. Power attack. And we can go top. Help out these guys because he just converged as well. And we might have him again. We did. Oh, I missed with that right there all right okay well we missed that one there's the ultimate right there so if we would have had the ultimate that time oh we got him now get him get him oh she silenced me okay i healed myself that was close that's really odd to see that character use silence now where the rest of everybody else went i don't know Movement speed's next on the uh, list for the recommended build. Like I said, we'll go back and we'll do another uh, build on it. We'll do uh, we'll do a custom build that I would probably do if I use Sakura in some matches, which I probably am. I'm probably going to use him for a ranked eventually. Uh, probably going to do regular matches, get good with him, find the perfect build that I like using, and go from there and uh, because currently there's not a whole lot of damage to this build with two pieces of gear in and let's go back bottom pick up on this sakura let's 
go ahead and hit him early with that. I still got my dash up. Hit him with a knock up while he's under that. And we're out of mana again. That's okay. We've got this. And we got him. Nice. So it's really easy to chase somebody down with Sakura. I've noticed that. Um, and I imagine he's going to be really hard to catch up with. Especially with the knock up that he has. And the fact that, you know, if you use actual teleport as well, that's two teleports you could do at one time. So he can get away from you a pretty good ways before you'd really be able to do anything. Uh, it's got Infinity Lance coming next. Oh, they're going for the gank. And you're able to get away from a gank that easy. It wasn't but one stun though, so that wasn't too bad. I didn't even really have to knock him up. Uh, we, I could have actually tried to fight that off a little more, just like I'm going to have to right here. And they're going to continue to come in. That's the good thing about that right there. You know, it, you can help get yourself away. I probably went in a little bit too much. Nope, we're good. All right. Is he gonna chase me? He's gonna chase me. Look, Tusker's chasing. No, Tusker, go away. All right, I'm just gonna run back up here and just instead of teleporting because I'm already so close now. I can't believe he really chased me that far. The AI went that far to try to chase me down and kill me. They have no mercy. All right, we're gonna steal defense. That's one thing I didn't, haven't done really yet is try to get through all three of them because that increases your defense. It steals it from all of them. Uh, we should be able to kill this guy. Every time I try to go through jungle, I try to kill stuff. That way you don't waste a trip really. And just make sure you're still keeping an eye on the map as well. Kind of seeing where everybody's at. Now I know I already know I'm going to have to drop back bottom right here. We got Frost Lance as the next one. Protect this tower. Missed with the dash. Knock up again. All right. He's using his ulti. My turn. Nice. Pick up heal and we're good to go. All right. So we're still losing three to five. Power buffs up. That'll help out. Should be able to dash in and clean up some. Gonna get out just in time before he knocks me up. I'm not gonna dive. I don't have the health to dive. So it's maximum ember up here. All right, we got him. I'm gonna go ahead and ulti him. More chance of him running. And I'm gonna have to go back as well. So they're holding off a pretty good fight. But we're leveling up pretty quick. I'm already level nine. And I haven't really been going mid for buff every time it's up. I'm pretty sure the uh, AIs don't go get it every time it's up so it's mostly up all the time if you don't pick it up yourself so that's one benefit you can have with uh, AI fights all right we caught him nice all right throw everybody a heal and I'm gonna run back bottom and take care of Sakura again okay we're going uh, defensive all right, so the fifth piece of gear that it gives you is a defensive item. And let's get in here and he did the same thing that I just did. All right, this is gonna be interesting because, uh, well, it's pretty much the same type of build. All right, he did his, my turn. And we got you. Save the dash. I saved the dash. All right, let's go ahead and take out this. We could probably get a good chunk out of this tower before I have to get out to go ahead and use my heal. It's already on a uh, 30 something, 39 second timer. Another defensive item. So yeah, we're probably going to end up taking this tower completely. We are. All right, so we're gonna go top now. 
that's pretty much done buff is up again like I said they usually don't get it so that's the nice thing about AI and we can come in and try to clean up we got ulti but I'm going to up all right guy I'm pushing your luck I'm gonna push mine I'm gonna try to catch him with the ulti heal myself up all right we didn't even need that second knock up that's okay all right we're back in the game now though eight and six uh we're five and oh so you can get some really quick stabs and this isn't even really a physical build this is more it's got defense in it it slows down it's got the piercing on the one item movement speed and the uh dual blades don't actually give you a whole lot either so this doesn't really go in the physical a whole lot this is more for his survival kind of deal and fire blades would be the next one on that list all right so he wants to go again where you going dude oh he went and got the buff that's 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 odd to see oh get back here all right we're gonna have to save ours to get out so he's gonna chase we're gonna pop this come right back in though or not that didn't really give me any hit points all right we're gonna actually have to go back all right let's go back top we're eight and eight now nine minutes in let's go ahead and finish tusker off if we can Go ahead and kill all this stuff while I'm out here. I'm not really worried about her too much because I can get away. And it doesn't really take a whole lot. They're both back, so I can go back and heal up again if I really need to. Or I could have went jungle and just leveled up. But I just chose to go back because I can swoop through jungle on the way through. And I can kill this stuff. Drop bottom and assist him if I need to. Get buffs. Uh, mini boss buffs really do help out a lot. And what I mean by that are these. See, this guy gives you a little lightning attack buff once I kill him watch right there above the castle the home button you see that buff that popped up I knew I now do more damage when I attack and there is another one on the other side it's usually one or the other and this is the uh, tornado buff and basically what it does is watch the tornadoes come out when you get around enemies it attacks them automatically so that's pretty useful and we're gonna pop in here and just try to catch him off guard all right we got a heal up for us and i'm gonna tower dive this tower is about gone oh we don't have minions come on minions help minions come on Ooh, a heal all right so this is taking longer than i expected it would uh second level into the movement speed now this is the recommended build so I'm really not doing a whole lot of damage and they're killing minions way too fast uh, I'm gonna get out don't want to die just yet so we're gonna go back maximum is back again so he can hold them off with the wave of minions right before we come in didn't really get the hill all the way up pretty close though well, we do have our heal up again and let's go to town we're going to target ember ember's the dps we'll take him out now dive on him dive on him catch him ah he got away it makes me sad all right well we'll just kill this stuff level up some more and hope we can get this done in the next say 10 minutes seems like they're turtling a little bit we're gonna get the tower now come on minions come on map awareness she killed all the freaking minions why'd you do that 
I stayed in too long. See, this is crazy. AI, this is crazy. Okay, so everybody looks like they're finally together. Let's get him caught up. I'm not gonna let you get away. You either. Hit him. Oh my goodness, he survived again. All right, the piercing. That's a little bit more attack. Speed buff. Ember, you do not want any of this. I promise you. Not with a speed buff. And whoa, she got brave and went up through the tower. Did you just see that? And took out our Ember, really? Really? Wow. Look at her. Oh, heal, heal. All right. This is ridiculous. Where are the teammates at? I can't stay alive without you here. Help. It's like we all can't get there at the same time. And why they're constantly pushing top, I don't know. I guess I could go bottom and go after tower, but they've already taken the uh, minions down here. So I've got to go back already. I'm glad I was looking at that because your base is now under attack. Super minions, which is almost dead. So yeah. Uh, we haven't paid attention to this and now if uh, he hits this basically about once it's going to uh, be over with and he's trying to kill me but I killed him so now we need to actually uh, really nothing can touch the base ever again or we lose this match but Sakura is look we're eight and one pretty much carrying the team Especially this AI group. I don't know why they're dying so much. But if we do lose, it's okay. It's just a game. We've come to learn that over the past month of playing. It does take a lot out of you. It can make you pretty mad as well, but it's still just a game. And all right, we've got that taken care of. So I'm going to just run along and I don't think they're really just pushing tower. So I'm not really. Uh oh. Let's heal up and get out of the way. Get through here, heal. All right, let's go back. They're trying to catch me up. Uh, they're not gonna catch me. I just don't need her to uh, attack the tower. No, she ran away, so we're still able to protect. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to turtle this. Uh, now that all this stuff is back, I'm going to go ahead and ulti him, knock him up. I don't know if I, I'm out leveled him, so I should be able to kill him. No problem. There's his ulti, knock him up again, chase him down now. And I couldn't protect enough. That's all right. But that is Sakura eight and one with him on a defeat with hard ai i mean look at that three and seven and one and four i don't know what in the world was going on there with them but sakura is really really good recommended build doesn't really do a whole lot of damage but it's got a lot of survivability to it uh so we'll go back over it and we'll do another one where we do our own custom build of course and uh until then we'll see you in the next video if you have any questions about this video though Leave me in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.